What's going on everybody? I hope everybody's having a great day so far. So today we're gonna continue on talking about some exercises and this one, it's kind of uh, kind of crazy. Oh yeah, it's gonna be like a reggae type exercise. Yes, a reggae type exercise. Y'all know what day it is, it's Tutorial Thursdays. So to all the new subscribers, welcome to Percussion Life. My name is Eric Perez. Some of you already know that by now, but just had to welcome you to the channel. And I do hope that you enjoy these videos. And if you haven't subscribed already, just hit that subscribe button, hit that notification button, find out whenever I upload. And I normally upload every Monday and every Thursday, and it's normally things that you request. And to all my day ones, man, thank you so much for all the love, all the support, all the kindness, all the nice comments. Seriously, those uh, little comparison videos, sometimes you end up getting love and sometimes you end up getting hate, but you know, you just gotta love it. So I wanted to share like an independence exercise that I kind of turned it into like a reggae type beat. And, but it's an exercise that you could try at home with three congas. You could try to get away with it with two, but it really doesn't sound the same. But yeah, let me show it to you guys and see if you guys want to try it at home. It's going to be kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy, but you gotta love it. So yeah, let me show you what I'm doing. As you see, I'm kind of doing a lot of independence here. I'm doing something over here, and I'm doing something over here. And really, it's an exercise. I don't expect you to try this at a gig, but it's really good to kind of establish a place of being, a place of where you're at, and kind of making a beat at the same time. So the beat kind of references a reggae pattern, like do da da 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 do. That's your boy. That's your boy right there. So I start this reggae exercise with one open on the tumba to my dominant side. And then my non-dominant hand is actually going to stay on the quinto to my non-dominant side. So it's only gonna stay there, it's not gonna move anywhere else but here. But after doing that open, I'm actually going to do an open slap with my non-dominant hand on the quinto. After doing that open slap on the quinto with my non-dominant hand, with my dominant hand, I'm actually going to do an open slap on the conga, or my main drum, right here. So to put that together, it's gonna sound like this. Now here's where the spices start to get added. After doing that open slap with your dominant hand, here it's kind of where it starts to get tricky. You're going to do like a tap open slap. So it's meant to be like an open slap, but not as dominant. So it's like a ghost open slap. And then you're gonna do an open slap after that. So it's gonna be two. So to kind of give you that example, it's gonna sound like this, but you're gonna do it with your non-dominant hand on the quinto. Crazy, huh? And after doing that, you're going to do an open slap with your dominant hand on the conga. So to put that together, it's gonna to sound like this. And after doing that open slap with your dominant hand, again, you're going to do that accented double open slap. So it's gonna be like a ghost open slap and then an open slap, all with your non-dominant hand on the quinto. So it's gonna sound like this. Then you're gonna go back to the one, which is gonna be the open on the tumba to your non-dominant side. So to put everything together, just so you could get the idea of how it's gonna sound like just going back to the one, it's gonna sound like this. Kind of 
of sounds like the beginning part of a wawanko, doesn't it? Kind of cool. But again, that's the one. So you're gonna go back to doing the beginning parts again. So to kind of play it all the way through, just so you guys can get the idea, it's gonna sound like this. And if you notice, I started to accent it more, or back off a little bit more, or keep on going, or add a little bit more spice and sasoon and wawasoon and lolasoon. It's okay, it's an exercise, but the whole point is that concept is still there. You're kind of still feeding off of it and, you know, just getting the vibes, just getting the vibes going. Now, if you want to count it, it's going to sound like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. to love it but yeah this is just a little quick little exercise you could try at home again it's meant to kind of divide the mind and as well as kind of mess with your tones you know you're going from an open to an open slap here to an open slap there so puppy, puppy, puppy. hey <laughs> yeah i'm still a dad say hey youtube hey you uh, you gotta love my son he's getting so big he just turned three it's kind of crazy. But yeah, practice it at home, try it out. It's really meant to kind of play with your mind and it's meant to, you know, it's a nice little workout. You gotta love those little workouts because it takes you out of your comfort zone and what you're used to. But I gotta go play with my son and that's the best part of a percussion life. You gotta love it. But all right, y'all, y'all already know what to do. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great weekend. <laughs> Come on, puppy, go. No, puppy. Let's build something. Yeah.